Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss a very important problem from uh, differentiation involving the absolute value function. Right. So here uh, we have this important problem in which uh, we are given a function f of x that is equal to mod of uh, tan of 2x then we have to find the value of e raised to minus uh, f prime of x at x is equal to pi by 3, right? So we have to uh, find out the value of this expression uh, e raised to a negative of the derivative of f of x at x is equal to pi by 3 when the function f of x is given as uh, mod of uh, tan of 2x, right? So here uh, we are going to uh, use the concept of uh, absolute value function and the sign convention of trigonometric functions in the four quadrants, right? So let us start. So here uh, the value of x at which we have to find the uh, value of this expression is given as pi by 3, right? And in the given function f of x, we have the angle uh, 2x, right? So we have to uh, concentrate or we have to focus on uh, this uh, angle that is 2x. So when x is pi by 3, then uh, 2x is 2 times pi by 3, that is 2 pi by 3, and 2 pi by 3 is 120 degrees. Right? Now let us uh, consider the four quadrants. So here we have 0 degrees, here we have uh, pi by 2, here we have pi, then we have 3 pi by 2 and here we have 2 pi. Right? And uh, when x is pi by 3, 2x is 120 degrees. So 120 degrees, uh, it falls in the second quadrant. Right? This is the first one, this is second, this is third and this is fourth. So we have the angle uh, 120 degrees that is uh, 2 pi by 3 and we are in the second quadrant because here f of x is given as the mod of tan 2x. So we have to consider 2x and 2x lies in the second quadrant. So now from trigonometry we know that uh, in the first quadrant uh, all the six trigonometric functions are positive, right? And in the uh, second quadrant only the sine function is positive, uh, that is sine and uh, cosec uh, function are positive while the other four uh, trigonometric functions are negative, right? So here uh, the tan function is negative. So now we can write f of x is equal to uh, mod of tan 2x and mod of tan 2x uh, can be written as negative of uh, tan 2x by the definition of mod function because uh, the uh, definition of mod function says that mod of p is equal to a positive p whenever p is greater than 0 and mod of p is 0 whenever p is 0 and mod of p is negative p when p is less than uh, 0. So now if we compare uh, this function with this one then our p is uh, tan of 2x right and we are writing mod of p as negative p uh, because here we are writing negative of tan 2x when p is less than 0 and a tan of 2x is negative in the second quadrant. So this is the important concept in this problem. So we have f of x is equal to negative of tan 2x. Now we can differentiate uh, this function with respect to x. So we have f prime of x uh, is equal to negative of the derivative of uh, tan 2x, right? and the derivative of uh, tan function is uh, secant square. So we have secant square 2x and then by chain rule the derivative of 2x, right? 
and the derivative of 2x with respect to x is simply 2. So we have a minus 2 a secant square 2x, right? So the derivative of this function uh, with respect to x is given by uh, minus 2 secant square 2x. Now let us substitute x is equal to pi by 3 in this uh, uh, derivative. So we have f prime of pi by 3 and here we have minus 2 secant square uh, 2 pi by 3, right? And this is minus 2 and we know that uh, from trigonometry secant 2 pi by 3 is given by uh, negative uh, 2 right because uh, cos, cos of 2 pi by 3 is minus half right 2 pi by 3 is uh, 120 degrees so here we have minus 2 and now uh, here we have uh, minus 2 square so this is minus 2 times 4 that is minus 8 right so f prime of uh, pi by 3 is equal to minus 8 so now the value of e raised to minus f prime of x at uh, pi by 3 is uh, given by e raised to minus and f prime of pi by 3 is minus 8 so this is e raised to plus 8 that is simply e raised to 8 where e is the exponential number right so the value of uh, this expression at x is equal to pi by 3 is e raised to 8